God bless everybody. Again, this is Pastor Benny here at Love Wings Ministry Studios coming at you live. Amen. This afternoon or this evening, rather. I hope you had a pleasant day. And I know that God is walking with you. So no matter what you're going through, remember that he loves you and he cares about you. And I'm just here doing what God is calling me to do, just checking to make sure everything's working. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. And I would appreciate those that might be watching me live now or watch this later uh, to please send me a comment. Just say hallelujah. Let me know that you're watching. Amen. Again, I come to encourage and to build up, never to tear down. Amen, amen, amen. I hope you can hear me well. Amen. That's why I'm testing this. Because I'm here by myself. Testing one, two. Amen. God is good. All right, I hear it on there. Amen. Making sure I hear it on my phone. Amen. But you know, you work with what you have and you do the best you can. That's all that God asks us to do. Amen. To to just be faithful as He is faithful. Hallelujah. Let me see this if I'm working here. Yes. All right. <laughs> see, God is good. God works things out. Amen. And I was just praying before I came on. I said, Lord, give me what to say. Okay. To my brothers and sisters that are out there and to share the love. And that's our that's our main thing here. We're not looking for anything else but to share God's love to you my sister and my brother out there. We're not trying to do anything else, but remember that we're here and we continue to do what God has called us to do. Amen. Excuse me a minute. It's to share the good news, but here is my stand-in, many me. Let me just put them aside. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. But again, even before I get started, I just want to pray and ask the Lord to to bless me, to bless you. Amen. That what he's given me tonight to share with you, that it will bless you and it will encourage you. So again, I come, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, Lord. Asking you, Father, right now, Lord, and thanking you for this opportunity to be able to come on the air once again this Tuesday night to share with my sisters and my brothers out there, my siblings, Lord, that are in you, Lord. Father, and all those that don't know you, Father, that I would plant the seed tonight, Lord. And, Father, just to remind them of how much you care and, Father, how much you have done for my life and, to, and for many others, Lord, that know you and have an intimate relationship with you, Lord. And I just thank you again for this opportunity. And I say that all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Okay, I don't see nobody yet on, but I'm going to continue. Amen. And we know that this is what we call what? The good news. And that's what I come tonight to share is the good news. And I want to give a shout out to a few people. Amen. As I continue to go forward uh, tonight and this message and this broadcast out of here of Love Wings Ministry Studios. And again, I come for one purpose only is to encourage and to build up, never to tear down. And also, man, we just here doing what God has called us to do, which is all of us, the body of Christ, is to share the truth. Nothing but the truth shall so help us, God. And what is the good news, which we call the Bible? Amen. For some of us out there. And the good news is simply what? Trusting in something that you cannot see. It may not be easy, but remember, God loves for who? For you and me. And we can feel it every day when we have that true intimate relationship with him. And remember to renew our minds daily with the word of God and in our prayer time and just sharing with the Lord. Amen. And I want to talk about tonight is that, that the good news and what God has called us to do. Amen. And 
um, you know, we meet people. I'm just going to speak from my heart. We meet people and and years go by because time just seems like to go so fast, right? <laughs> time go- goes by so fast. But we meet people and like I'm always saying, every individual that God has put in my life, uh, I know that that's my ministry, whether I see them uh, all the time or I see them once in a while. It doesn't matter. What happens is, man, our, you know, our fellowship. I just want to give a shout out to a few people out there that uh, met today. Lewis, amen, and uh, it was good to see him, amen, and and his wife, I believe her J- Joyce uh, birthday is today. And I, I say happy birthday to you, my sister, many more years. Amen. And, you know, everyone we meet us put into each other's lives. And, you know, um, what gets me uh, sometimes is that we tend to forget. Amen. And this is why as we renew our mind with the word of God, let us remember the friendships, the people that have come into our lives, uh, whether they're around us all the time or whether they're not or whether they're e- even in our churches or or e- e- even fellowshipping. Remember that it's all about fellowship and, and it isn't a, a brothers and sisters mentality we're to have while we're here on this earth. Amen. Uh, because we know that our destination is in Christ and we know that we're going to be together Uh, If we're really true believers in Christ and and children of God and adopted into the kingdom of God, then we're going to be together for eternity. So let us not forget one another. That's why I don't forget people. I see people and I haven't seen them in a while. I don't just invite them because of church. Let me say that right now. I invite them because of friendship. And I said, you know, I haven't seen you. How you doing? Call me. Let's get together. Let's break bread together. We should Always remember, as I've always said, that those individuals that God put in your life, that is your ministry, and that's for eternity of those true believers. So let us not, as the Bible says, for, uh, forsake the assembling of ourselves. And that's important. So I just wanted to put that out there. And also, uh, Billy, amen, and, and his beautiful wife, amen, and what they're going through. You see, this is what I'm talking about, that when we... Meet people, fellowship, you know, sometimes we, like we serve the Lord in the good times, in the bad times, and we still praise him and thank uh, and, and thank him for the relationship. But we stay uh, connected. Amen. That's I guess that's the best word I can use. So let us stay connected. And I, I'm just sharing that from my heart to those brothers and sisters out there that uh, Maybe I haven't seen you guys in a while, but man, I, I never out of our hearts and out of our prayer. And that's what I'm talking about. Standing together always. Amen. And don't forsake uh, ourselves from calling us one, you know, one another and just seeing how we're doing. And that's all we want to do here. Just call people and say, how you doing, man? God bless you. I haven't seen you. Let you know we're here always for you. And we see, this is what the word tells us to do. For again, what is the good news? It's trusting in something you cannot see and may not be easy. But remember, but God's love, and that's the love that we're to share and can be felt every day as we feel it with him. So we should remember our brothers and sisters. Also, we can put our faith in God. Remember that, that he will find ways to return that what trust and he will guide us and protect us. That's the truth. So, again, I say that sincerely because, you know what, everyone I've met, I said, you know, Father, I pray for them, and, and maybe I don't see them as often, and it's not just a thing about coming to church and seeing us or coming to our church or our thing. we together always. Amen. I guess that's the best way I can say it. Amen. But, again, remember Romans chapter 8, verse 28 says, For we know that. God works all things together for the good, right? For good, for the, for the ones who what love God and those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. I think we lost the signal there for a minute, so I'm just going to wait there a second here. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, I think we're back on. (laughs) So again, I was reading Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And it says, we know that 
God works all things together for good for the ones who what love God for those who are called according to his purpose. And we all call to his purpose. So remember, as the Bible said, as 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 we treat one another, we treat and this is what God expects from us. But we're tr doing the same unto God. Amen. Uh, because I see so many things and sometimes I just scratch my head. But anyway, we're still learning. Amen. And knowing that, remember that, that God works all things and we may not understand God's big plan, but we should trust that he has won for us everything in our lives. And that's the truth. So this is why I'm always saying, you know, those individuals that come into my life, no matter if I don't see them in a daily or weekly or whatever it might be, but when I do see them and when I don't see them, I continue to pray for them. Amen. And let us acknowledge that. I don't know why we put walls up and, uh, and I'll be the first one to say, I've made that mistake and I've asked the Lord to forgive me and to, you know, to reach out. Amen. Always with the good news. Amen. Remember, in Psalm 62, verse 8 says, and I'm reading out of the complete Jewish Bible, trust in, trust in him. People are all the times pouring out your heart before him. God is what? A refuge for what? For us, all of us. I see someone sending me hearts out there. God bless you. Amen. Who is that? Send me a little note there. Let me see who it is. I mean, let's see if I can see who that is. Well, that's Amita, my daughter. I love you, Amita. Amen. And this is what I'm talking about, man. Family. We're familia. You're my brother. You're my sister. So let us remember that always. Amen. You know, it is easy to trust God when things are going well, but we must believe in him all times. Amen. For his good, amen, always, amen, he will be there for us through it all. Now, what does Jesus said? As I've done to you, and he wants us to do to each other. So that kind of gives us an up and up on that, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> First John 5, 14 says, this is the uh, confession we have in his what? Presence, confidence, I'm sorry. This is the confidence that we have in what? His presence. If we ask anything that's according with what? With his will, he hears us. Wow, that's deep. Amen? <laughs> he hears us according with what? With his will. Because remember, I'm always saying we don't know what's behind the door, but he does. So before we ask him to open that door, make sure that you ask the Lord, is this is the right door uh, for you to open uh, for me, there was, and, and we know that he's going to either close it or open it. Amen. Remember, it's believing. Believing for those things yet not seen but continue to trust him. And that's how we live our lives. And this is what we learn from the scriptures, my brothers and sisters, is the greatest thing that we can do on this earth and the greatest thing that pleases God is how we treat one another, how we love and praise him and worship him as I was sharing before and putting him first in everything that we do and obeying his commandments. That's what it comes down to. Also, I want to read one more. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to what? To prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a what? Future. That's out of the NIV. I like that. I love that verse. And I'm pretty sure if you've heard it. But I like just reading the word because it reminds me that my life and his plan for my life. When we continue to do what he just called us to do, man, it's just to do things right. Amen. And and be there. uh and following his instructions, man, and, and and just loving one another and caring one another. That's the greatest thing that we can do is love. You know, I'm glad when I meet new people. I met my sister, Wendy uh, Lee. Uh, we got Wendy Lee's uh, lady or Lady Lee. 
And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you meet people and, and, you know, like I'm always saying, God puts people in our lives for a reason. And that's our ministry. And we minister to each other. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, the good news is, thank God that everybody's different. Everybody has their own gifting, and God has given us those gifts, but yet to utilize the kingdom of God. But what does that mean? We got to utilize it with each other because we are the children of God, the kingdom of God. And the Bible said that when they see us together, amen, working according to his will and his purposes in our lives together, uh, many will know that we are the true uh, children of God. Amen. It's how we treat each other. Amen. And the things we do. Amen, somebody. <laughs> but let me say this. This is one of the most powerful Bible verses about a new beginning. And we all always doing that every year. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And it's good because, you know, we don't want to keep doing the same things. We want to do new things. You know, I was sharing with my wife and it came to me like a ton of bricks. You know, sometimes we talk about conversations. And what is success? What's the definition of success in your life or in my life? And what, what, is, what does it mean to us? And she was throwing that question at me. And we read books. We, we study things to be successful as we read the Word of God. It's a powerful book. And I believe this is the greatest book in the world that gives us instructions on how to reach success, but also the most important thing is how to have peace, shalom in our lives and how to manage all the things that, that happen through us through life, you know, uh, and how to not get caught up in the things of the world, but walk in the spiritual realm. I guess that's the best way I could share it, my brothers and sisters. So we were talking about success, and I was saying, you know, everyone is seeking success, but what is success to you? And I, and I, and I really searched my heart and my mind, and, and, you know, and I was realizing something. I said, I'm, I'm successful. My success, what I believe is my success, is the most important success that I can have in my life is having a true relationship with God. And through the years growing in that relationship, and because I believe that as we, for me, success, I couldn't talk about me now. So sex, the definition of success is having that peace. You know, a lot of people search for success. They believe it's money, you know, uh, because that's, I guess, that's the, the, the thing that we do. And, I, and, I, and I'm not saying that money is bad. Don't get me wrong. We need money. Amen. We could accomplish a lot of the help. But success to me is how a family is. Uh, uh, because we see so many people with that have come into finances a, a large amount of money, and do they really find success in that in their lives? Yes, to accomplish things and to buy things and to, and even to help others. That's a good thing. But to me, I believe that success is looking back at your life and seeing your children and your family and what we do. As I'm always saying, what we do with our lives and how it reflects on those that are around us and how it ministers to those, especially our children, our wives, our husbands, or whatever, family and friends. And, and to me, that, that's the essence of success is to... To be sad, I, I, I'm satisfied. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and what makes me happy, my relationship with God and, and doing the things that I love doing, which is this right now, just giving back to what God and remembering what God has done in my life. So to me, the definition of success is having peace, man, and having direction in your life and and doing things in order. I guess the best way I can share it. And that's how I found through the word of God that it's helped me to be successful in my life and to have peace and, and then bringing up my children in the ways of the Lord and to the best of my ability and my, and my wife and us together knitted and friends. And, and to me, that is the greatest success and what we leave behind. 
uh, who were we on what God has did through your, your life or my life and and that's the inheritance that I want to leave a success of of relationships and I don't know that's just my my definition of that I hope it helps someone out there amen because what we should always do is examine ourselves and that's something I'm learning every day is to examine myself and say am I happy am I doing what God has called me to do and and the greatest joy that gives me is having my relationship with God and growing more in it regardless of the good times or bad times that I could still stand or sit here today and just thank God and Thank God for keeping my family. Thank God for getting up this morning. Thanking God for being able to get, get on social media and share this with you, my brothers and sisters, and invite other brothers and sisters to have a place that they could come and sit with us and break bread and worship together. And, I mean, I I, I think to me that is my success in in the kingdom of God and, and just just doing and being happy. Amen. You know, because time goes by so fast. Amen. I remember once I was young, now I'm in the middle. Amen. <laughs> and you know, and you know, I'm 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 happier. You know, I'm 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 settling some things and that's what we should all look at our lives and say, I remember where I was at, but I thank the Lord where I'm at today and the knowledge that I have and and the peace that comes, and I'm more relaxed, and that's, that's to me, a success. Amen. So, for those out there, amen. <laughs> All right, getting back to what I was saying. <laughs> One of the most powerful verses in the Bible of a new beginning, it's recognizing that God has a plan for each and every one of us, and he, and, and can help us carry, uh, carry us into a new year as we begin or a new day or, you know, as we come in approaching and focusing on this plan is the key to help, to helping us to become the people that we were meant to be. Amen. And I always believe we're all meant to, to be good. Amen. And to do things right. And even in Psalms, I was sharing on Sunday about a lot on Psalms about praise and worship and other things that God had given me. And I was thinking about Psalms 104, which we know, enter, what, his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, giving thanks to him and praising his name. Amen. <laughs> and remember, as we start this, even tonight, this Bible verse is about a new beginning reminding us of the importance of giving thanks to God, amen, and 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 of pleasing, you know, pleasing him by the actions that we do, the things we do, and how we treat each other. Because remember, God sees everything, amen. And I want him to see that my heart, and I'm pretty sure you do too, that we just want to thank him for what he's done and being able to share the love that he's given us with others. You know, in Lamentation, verse 3, I mean, I'm sorry, chapter 3, verse 22 and tw uh, through 24 says, oh, no, I'm sorry, 22, and then go down to verse 24. Amen. He says, because of the Lord's great love, we are what? Not consumed. Amen. For his compassion never fails. They are new every morning. Great is what? His faithfulness. Amen. Your, your faithfulness, rather. His, it says here in the Bible, every morning great is your faithfulness, O Lord. And verse 24 says, and I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. Amen. Remember that God's love us and what? Never fails. Oh, man, that's beautiful, man. And also the Lord is my what? God, I'm sorry, God loves us and 
loves never fail. Even when we make mistakes, he's still there to love us and pick us up, back up again. Is that the truth? And I say this sincerely. I've made mistakes, and I'm pretty sure you made mistakes. Let us do what the Lord says. Amen. Let us what? Pick each other up, back up again, and then we see we're in line with God's commandments and God's word. But also, it's good. Amen. I love, you love to be forgiven, right? I love to be forgiven. How beautiful it is when others feel the same way, when we forgive them and mistakes that we do. Because remember, we're all here striving to do and apply this word the best into our lives every day. That's why I'm not into a religious state of mind, man. I'm into a true relationship with God, but also with people that I meet, trying to my best to to keep these relationships, even when sometimes we don't understand why relationships are the way they are with some people that we that we that that God has put in our path. Let me say that. And think of that. Then then did our relationship just not doesn't fall because we go to the same church or or we're in the same uh, congregation wherever we are. You know, uh, relationships is all those that God put in your life. That's what a relationship is, and 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 caring for one another. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't matter that that uh, I just don't get that. Uh, and sometimes I feel that I'm I'm being straightforward. That some people are your friends when you when you're ministering together, or they're in a church, especially church people. I'm gonna say like I see it, and you know I, I don't mean this in a negative way. I'm just because you might be be thinking the same thing that I'm thinking, or or, or I've seen rather. And we should not just be friends because we were in church. We should be friends always because, remember, you're my brother and my sister. And regardless of you're here or you're not here, we're still the same. Amen. We haven't changed. So what is that? the definition of our, our friendship? Is it because we meet together in a church, then we're friends, then when we're not in the same church, then we're no friends no more? You're still my brother and sister. Remember that. And I, I, I'm saying that because it boggles my mind. I said I'm always going to speak the truth. And search the scriptures and ask God to give me wisdom about that because I, you know, we hear it. Amen. But again, remember that as God's love never fails us, and even when we make mistakes, he's still there to love us and he picks us up. This is what we should do. We should do what Jesus said to us. As I watch the feet of those, remember to do the same to one another. Amen. And also it says as we look towards the new year or beginning in our lives or friendship, whatever it might be, uh, reminds us that Jesus sacrificed not only himself uh, for us, but also the power to be transformed, that power that he sacrificed for us to transform our hearts. Amen. And to have the heart of the Lord Jesus and the Father. Amen. Which as we know, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his own son. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Every time I say that, it just... So again, I'm just here, and we're here just sharing the gospel and the truth. Amen. And again, sharing the love of God. This is why I say this is love news. <laughs> Coming at you live here with your host and servant, Pastor Benny Ramos here, for those out there. Amen. But again, let's also make a commitment to turn to prayer in every situation, my brothers and sisters. As things happen in our lives, this is what I'm learning to do when I don't know what to do or things happen with relationships, especially because we, we, we're born into a relationship. That's why I'm always talking about relationship and individuals that me, we meet. Before we do anything, amen, I think we stop there for a second. I'm just going to wait. Hallelujah.
Okay, we're back. <laughs> I had a little short pause there. Let me say this. John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35 says, and we read the word, it says, I'm reading out of the NIV. It says, and a new commandment I give you. Love one another as I have loved you so much. Love one another. By this will, by this, it says, Everyone will know that you are my disciples if you what? Love one another. Oh, hallelujah. Father, I pray that right now, Lord. Father, I pray, Father, as I feel in the, as you're leading me right now, Lord, for anyone that's out there that's holding something against anyone. Even those that hurt us, Lord. And we don't understand why, Father. I pray, Father, that the spirit of forgiveness flows in those individuals, Lord. Father, as we continue to intercede and to get into your presence, Lord, every day of our lives, Lord, and be able to to forgive, Lord, those that whatever situation, it could have been an argument or whatever, misunder misunderstanding. Father, we know that as your word said, we have to forgive, we have to love. And even as I read John 13, 34 and 35, that this is something that you ask us, that we're to love one another. So much as love one another by every, then everyone will know that we are your children, your disciples. Father, let that sink into, as it's sinking into my heart, into my mind right now, Lord. That we remember that, Lord. And we pray for those that maybe have heard us and we ask you, Father, Lord, to forgive them and also forgive us, Father, for heartening our hearts and allowing that to come and inter intervene into our lives, Lord. Father, I ask for release right now, Lord. Whoever's out there, Father, I ask for release right now. I pray, Father, that you're sending the spirit of peace. The angels are surrounding them right now, Lord. And, Father, anyone that's out there maybe facing cancer or whatever disease, Father, and they have the spirit of fear, even though they don't say it, Father, but deep down inside, Lord, as I even felt when I was going through my cancer and liver transplant, Lord, I pray, Father, that you strengthen them right now, Lord, that you give them peace. Father, I pray that you touch the doctors, Lord, and the nurses that are taking care of them, Lord, that, Father, make sure they get everything that they need, Father, Lord, that is right for them, Lord. And Father, most of all, Lord, that we continue to remember, Father, that what we do and how we do to each other, it, it reflects on our relationship with you, Lord. Because even as you instruct us, Father, to forgive one another, to encourage and to never tear down or say things that are contrary to your word, Lord, and Father, we bind it in the name of Jesus Christ right now, Lord. And Father, I ask you even for myself to forgive me if I've done that. And I ask my sister and brother as I'm with them, whoever they might be, Lord. Father, to forgive them also. And let us not look anywhere but towards heaven, for we know that our strength and our peace comes from you, Father. You're the giver of all things, my God. You're the I am. So I pray that today, Father, I, for those that might be watching right now, I pray healing, I pray deliverance, Father. Most of all, I pray the spirit of forgiveness, my God. And even if them have done something to someone, let them go, Father, as you instruct us all to go and to confess and ask for forgiveness. 
Let us not let the enemy have any stronghold on any of my brothers and sisters that are out there. Father, we, your children, Lord, let us remember that. Let us not continue just to get into a religious state of mind, but also to have a true intimate relationship with you, Lord. And Father, the things that we do, how we know that is it's so important because we know that every step we take, Lord, and everything that comes out of our mouth, it affects those around us, my God. It affects those around us, my God. Let us use wisdom, what to speak and what not to speak, my God. Let us hold on, Father, to your word, Father, in our relationship with you, Lord. Let us be doers of your word, Lord, not just speakers. But let us apply that word every day in our lives. And I pray again, strength right now to my sister, oh, my brother that's out there, whatever they might be going through, Father, wherever they might be at right now, Lord. Father, Lord, to trust you with all that's within them, Lord, and knowing that, Father, you are our refuge. You are our strong tower. You are our peace. Oh, Father, we know that no weapon that the enemy form against us will prosper. For we are your children, my God. We've been adopted into this kingdom that you have called us by name and chose us, my God. Let us always remember that. And let us remember that, Father, Lord, in you we find strength. In you we find peace, shalom. Oh, Father, thank you for blessing us every day, Lord. Thank you for things yet not seen, but we continue to build our faith and trust in you that your word continues to help us as we are here on this earth, Lord, and as we usher your kingdom here onto this world, Lord. Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Also, my brothers and sisters, man, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 9 and 10 says, out of the complete Jewish Bible, it says, never lie to one another. I'm going to say that again. Colossians chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. Never lie to one another because you have slipped away the old self with it is ways and its ways rather. Verse 10. And you have put on a new self. Which is continuous, conti which is continually being renewed in fullness and full of what knowledge, closer and closer to the image of it is Creator, and we know who that is, and in adding to loving others be sure that we also live in truth my brothers and sisters and don't let yourself fall into old and negative patterns I can say this tonight to you my brothers and sisters seek God and follow Christ. God wants to do so many things in your life, wherever I'm speaking to my brother and sister out there. And all I can say is be a witness of what he's done in my life. And as I continue to sit here and praise him and give him all the thanks that he's given to me. Excuse me one second.
I love this music because I want it to quench into your spirit. Amen. And to quench your spirit, rather. And in James chapter 1, verse 17, remember this, my brothers and sisters. Every good and perfect gift is from what? Above. Coming down from who? From the Father. The heavens. Light. Who does not change like shifting shadows. Oh, hallelujah. All the gifts he's given you and I is to share it with one another and every person that we meet. And that's to me being successful in your life and having peace and strength. And remember also that the Lord never changes. Something to keep in mind as we seek him every day of our lives. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I come today, man. I'm just so thankful and overwhelmed. And even today, be able to see some of my old friends and just be there for them and encourage them. And I know that they're going through some situations in their lives and this is why I tell my brothers and sisters, you're my sister and my brother, and we're all going to go through something, but it's a, how do we see God working through each other and seeing the love of God, helping one another, encouraging one another? Remember that the Bible tells us that God is good and that he has a plan for our lives Let's remember that we, as we seek to move forward in the positive light every day, amen, every day. You know, we sing these songs, uh, I want to be more like Jesus. And we know that Jesus, man, just loved and he spoke to everybody with love. And he demonstrated love. And he, and he healed and he delivered so many that today we're still being delivered by the message. And of his crucifixion and of his love and all these things that we got to remember to continue. That remember he bought it with a price. And he gave it to us freely. So remember, this is why I was reading that verse, that every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. Because that was God's intention from day one, that none should perish and that we would be a, his children and what he created us to be, to do good. And then the greatest thing is that remember that the Lord never changes and God never changes. No matter what season we might be in. And all he asks us to do is to love him and to seek after him. And to just do what he calls us all to do. To love and to care and to prefer one another. So I say that today, my brothers and sisters, I'm here tonight and just thanking the Lord for what he's done in my life. And I'm always saying, I, what can we say to to remember as we all remember what he's done and where we've, he brought us from? And, and we're to share that news with everyone that we meet. And that's why I'm so grateful that I can sit here tonight and thanking for all those brothers and sisters like, that's put into my life. As we know, as I'm always saying, that I'm standing on the shoulders of a lot of brothers and sisters that continue to uplift me, undergird me, and continue to work and doing the same thing as we all call to do, to love one another and to share that love with everyone that we meet. 
and this is why I say relationships are so important. God may, brought us into the kingdom of God, but remember that you're my sister, you're my brother for eternity. Amen. And we're to remember that every day as we walk on this earth, remember that you and I are his children. Amen. And you're my sister and my brother, and I keep saying that because let us continue to love one another and courage, as the Bible says, then the world will know what they're missing out. Amen. And they will come to the cross and repent and give their hearts to the Lord. And how do they do that? It's through you. My sister out there, my brother, it's up to you. And the Bible says, always put him first. As Jesus said, first seek the kingdom of God and the righteousness. And all these other things, all the desires, every success that we want, man, he'll give to us. Amen. So, again, I'm very sentimental sometimes because I think of how good God is and what he wants me to share with you today. And I hope that it inspires you and it encourages you, my brothers and sisters, because that's my purpose here. Here at Love Wings Ministry Studios, I want to give a shout out to Full Gospel Tabernacle in New York City. And Father Rockaway, Queen Pastor Carlos, and Pastor Robert uh, out in New Jersey, uh, Giovanni, Maria, every Carmen, even all these people. This is what I'm talking about. And those brothers out here that I've met and sisters, I give a shout out to you guys too. And Billy that I saw today, I, I, you know, I got to speak to on the phone rather. And you know what? Uh, we love you, and we're praying for uh, for you, and continue to pray for us as we continue just to do what God has called us to do. We're just an extension of God's love here on this planet, which we call Earth. Amen. And and our testimony and our witnesses is so important of what God has done in our life that we're to share with each other, also our testimony, but also doing the word to each other, encouraging and building up and helping one another and forgiving one another and not holding things what people have done to us thank god i was sharing before that all the things i've done and god has forgiven me and i said i was the black sheep of my family and yet god forgave me and he never brought it up or brought it back to me and i and that and and i that's a lesson that we should all learn don't judge a person on what they did in the past judge them on how they're living their life today and see the manifestation of God's love in their lives. We're so ready to pick up the stone and throw it. But we remember what Jesus said. If anyone have not sinned, cast the first stone. And, I, and, and that's, a, that's the truth. Amen. All right. So this is again Pastor Benny here at Love Wings Ministry Studios. Again, our doors are open. Amen. Uh, we have tomorrow night. We're going to have prayer from 7 p.m. we start prayer and uh and just share uh whatever testimonies or things that they're doing tomorrow night we're doing that to, at here at the next door thank you lord for now we have a sanctuary we have the studio next door that god has opened up the door and uh, we're blessed amen uh and just putting god first and uh and then also i want to let you know that on saturday uh I'll be on uh, either a pastor's corner or whoever's out there that has a testimony to share. It doesn't have to. And I don't want you to get this. I want to say this tonight because a lot of people think that we just do it on certain nights. Whatever time you're available and you can share something or you want to come speak to me, call me. Amen. And let me know. And we'll use our platform. We could either video. If we're going to do a video or something and we uh, there's things that I want to share with others or maybe you got something to share and we can work something out and you could come here and uh because that's what we built the studio for to encourage and to build up everyone amen and sharing your testimony as i'm even tonight here just sharing uh the, uh, the lord's uh, uh word and 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 being consistent amen and and just uh doing the broadcast out of here, out of Love Wings Ministry Studios. That's what we are here for. And uh, again, we invite you tomorrow night. We'll be here praying. 
having prayer night and just worship also. Amen. Uh, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. of those that would like to come and visit us. Amen. Or just, you know, and take it from there. <laughs> Amen. And also Sundays we have our service at 11 we start from 11 to 11.30, we pray, and then we just, 11.30, we go on the air, amen, uh, for those that can't come out or for whatever reason, and we do our broadcast of our live service on Sundays, every Sunday at 11.30, and we get into praise and worship, and just thanking God, amen, and the word of God as it comes down soon. Next month is our anniversary service which I'm working on the invitations this this week uh, to be able to send them out. We'll give you more information on that. And also, uh, we're going to start having movie nights again uh, for the children. Amen. If you got children, you want to come and do a free movie night. And also, we're going to continue to do the painting, the arts and craft that they do here and uh we're going to start, we've been doing it uh, twice, uh, once a month, but we're looking to do it more. As more people ask, we're here, amen, and, and coming and fellowshipping and breaking bread together. And uh, those dates are open, so we'll, we'll, we'll give you more information on that as we go down. So again, this is Pastor Benny here, your brother and servant, amen, and, and just asking the Lord to bless you and your family. If we could help with anything, we're here. Uh, you can contact us, uh, and I'll put it up at the end there. And just bringing out my mini-me standing while I go to the camera. And we're going to be doing some great things. And we're looking forward to those that will come and share their, 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 their gifts here with us uh, to minister to all those that are out there. And those that, again, don't have a local church to go to or a place to come and hear the Word of God, we invite you to come. Amen to Love Wings Ministry. Me and Mini Me, that's right here. Amen. We invite you to come. And we're just here. We're just doing what God called us all to do, to share the love. So go out and share the love. Amen. And remember, let us learn to forgive. And also, remember, continue to share the love of Christ and the Word of God. So, again, I thank God for this opportunity as I pray at the end here. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. I pray that everything that I've said, Father, has encouraged my sister and my brother out there, Lord. And, Father, I pray again healing, Father, Lord, and those that are, might be going through something right now, Lord. And, Father, Lord, and, Father, those that maybe are fearful right now, I pray, Father, you send a, the angel of strength, of shalom on them right now and of peace, Lord. And we know that. Sometimes you allow us to go through things and we're just to trust you and continue to believe. And while we're going through it, Father, we give you all the praise and honor for we know that you said in your word, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And, Father, that you love us with a love that's unending. And I thank you again for this opportunity of being here tonight, Father. And I pray blessings upon all that watch this video Father, Lord, and be able to share it with others, my God. And, it, and also, Father, the words that you've spoken to, the, to us today through your word, Lord, to love one another, to encourage one another, and to build up one another, and to call one another and just say, I love you. I miss you. How are you doing? God bless you. Let us be bold, Father, Lord, and let us continue to reach out as you continue to reach out to us every day, let us have that mindset and that heart, Lord. And ask us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, amen, amen. And remember, there's a seat waiting for you, and we're here, and, and we're looking to go out and just share the love. Amen. God bless you.